The folks over at Creator VC are putting together their latest edition of the In Search of Darkness Super Documentary. And in this version, they are going to be featuring films from the 1990s. It's going to be two films. The first one's going to be dealing with the years 1990 through 1994. And then part two will obviously be dealing with 1995 through 1999. And they are asking us to help them out as to what they should feature in the documentary. Now, there are a few ways that you can do this. One is by going to the website 90shorrordoc.com. That's 90 s H O R R O R D O C dot com. And on that website, you can find their survey that you can click on and then you can uh, fill out what you would like to see as far as what movies you'd like them to uh, discuss, uh, who you would like to see them interview, that kind of stuff. Another way is if you have social media. And if you have social media, you can post what you would like to see on there and let them know. And uh, they will probably put you on a best of sizzle reel uh, promoting the project. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I don't have social media and I did not fill out the survey. What I'm going to do is present this video here and present what movies I would like to see featured in the In Search of Darkness 1990s documentary. Now, as I mentioned, the survey asks for five movies. I'm not going to do five movies. I'm going to do 10 movies because I'm special. <laughs> and, um, well, it's really hard to do five, let's be honest. So uh, what I'm going to do is present here the 10 movies that I would like to see featured in In Search of Darkness 1990 through 1994. I will uh, give what year they are, uh, a little bit about them, and why I think they should be included. I'm going to present them in alphabetical order. At first, I was going to do them by year, but alphabetically just makes more sense, I think. So here we go. Without further ado, here are the 10 movies that I would like to see featured in In Search of Darkness, 1990 through 1994. All right, here we go. The first one, Body Snatchers from 1993, directed by Abel Ferrara, uh, starring Gabrielle Anwar, Meg Tilly, um, it is a great, great underrated Invasion of the Body Snatchers movie. Uh, you match that with the 1956 original and the 1978 remake. Um, you have an amazing trilogy for Invasion of the Body Snatchers, all which tell different stories, have little different things happening in them, different endings. And uh, I think that this uh, is an underrated film, one of my favorites. All right, my second film, is going to be Kronos from 1992, Guillermo del Toro's directorial debut uh, with Federico Lupi and Ron Perlman. Uh, just a great modern day update to the vampire film. Visually great, uh, fantastic acting. Of course, we see what Guillermo del Toro's brilliance uh, will be in his career. And um, yeah, I think it's just a, a solid film. My third movie is The Exorcist Three from 1990. Uh, William Peter Blatty's true sequel to the original that he wrote and directed. It's also based on his book, Legion. Uh, the film stars George C. Scott, Brad Dourif, who has one of the great monologues uh, in the film. Uh, and Jason Miller returns as Patient X. Uh, the film suffers a little bit at the end because uh, the studio wanted to have an actual exorcism in the film. Uh, but don't let that deter you from seeing it or liking it. Uh, it's ultimately a really solid film uh, with quite possibly the greatest jump scare in movie history. And if you don't know what that is, don't look for it online. See the movie and experience it within the film itself. My fourth selection is <laughs> Frankenhooker. Uh, just based on the title alone, uh, it would make my, my list. But... Uh, from 1990, Frank and Hooker, uh, Frank Henenlotter's uh, film. Uh, of course, he directed uh, Basket Case, Brain Damage. And um, it's just one of the great movies. Uh, great horror comedy that stars uh, James Lawrence and Patty Mullen. Uh, this was uh, only one of two movies that she did. Um, and this was actually the second and last movie that she would be in. Uh, she's fantastic in it, as is uh, James uh, Lawrence. Uh, this movie is part Frankenstein, part Reanimator, and part trauma film. 
Uh, it has um, it has one of the great scenes in this film where you have the character of Jeffrey uh, in this hotel room with prostitutes. And um, if you have not seen it, <laughs> again, you have to watch the entire movie to really enjoy it at its fullest. It is just fantastic. One of the great horror comedies of all time. Number five, In the Mouth of Madness from 1994, John Carpenter's classic. Do you read Sutter Kane? Uh, this movie is part Stephen King, part H.P. Lovecraft, and it's just pure John Carpenter goodness. Sam Neill, uh, Jurgen uh, Prochnow, uh, Julie Carmen, David Warner, Bernie Casey, Peter Jason, and Charlton Heston. Charlton Heston. Uh, those are uh, your stars of the movie. I never thought I would ever say John Carpenter and Charlton Heston in the same sentence, um, but it is great. Easily one of my favorites. And um, yeah, I just love that movie. Now for my sixth pick, I'm going TV movie. It from 1990. Not really a surprise here. Now this is a two part movie. Part one is considered the stronger of the two. But one thing that is certain is that Tim Curry delivers one of the great monster performances of all time that people to this day still talk about. Number seven, from 1993, Jason Goes to Hell. Now, this might be the most divisive Friday the 13th movie. Um, this also sets up the Freddy vs. Jason film. You have uh, John LeMay starring in this film, who uh, also was in the Friday the 13th TV series that has nothing to do with Jason. Uh, you also have Kerry Keegan, Kane Hodder, of course, and Stephen Williams, also starring in the film, directed and co-written by Adam Marcus, and uh, the film is also the return of Sean Cunningham to the Friday the 13th series. It's different. Um, and I think that's why I really put it on this list. It's just a different take on uh, the Jason legend. And again, it's the bridge between uh, the original series as well as, you know, the Freddy versus Jason movie, which was just awesome and did not disappoint. Other than the fact that Kate did not like Jason. Number eight from 1990, The Night of the Living Dead remake. Now, it's hard to do remakes. There's an entire graveyard full of failed remakes. This is not one of them. Yes, there are limitations. Yes, there were budget issues that affected uh, the vision of director Tom Savini. Um, but forgetting all that, this film does a great balance between the familiar and it adds some really nice new twists to the story. Uh, Tony Todd, Patricia Tallman, Tom Tolls, uh, McKee Anderson, and Bill Mosley star. Tom Savini does a solid, solid job directing this movie and again hard to do remakes especially when it's a classic and if you have not seen this one check it out and if you haven't seen it in a long time go back and check it out again i think you'll be pleasantly surprised my ninth pick we're going back to stephen kingland from 1994 the stand miniseries and it's actually more than a miniseries this was a four-part movie event and uh, i remember when this came out there was just buzz everywhere this was definitely one of those event movies that just lived up to the hype. Uh, Mick Garris delivered a, a tremendous uh, series. Uh, it has a who's who cast led by Gary Sinise and Molly Ringwald. Uh, a real tour de force. Check it out. Uh, if you have not seen it, uh, I highly recommend it. And last, this could be actually 10, 11, and 12 because I'm grouping these three movies together. It's the subspecies movies from 1991 to 1994, which would be the first one, the second one, and the third one. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, this is the Charles Band, Ted Nicolau uh, vampire series. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorites, and I remember back uh, in the cable days, uh, whenever this would be on, I think Cinemax used to have this on a lot, I would always watch this, and it's just fantastic. Um, like I said, I'm grouping these three movies together because you could do any one of these three. You don't even need to do them in order. I mean, technically, I think you could even call part two, three, and part four the trilogy. Um, but uh, either way, check these movies out if you have not seen them. Part five right now is available as well. You can find that online. I think it is on Screambox, if I'm not mistaken. But check it out. It's another solid entry into the subspecies 
uh, vampire series. Anders Hov as Radu is one of the great vampires of all time. Denise Duff is just fantastic uh, in parts two through five. Uh, just an amazing uh, co-star to uh, Anders Hov. And um, this series is much about Radu as it is about her character. Um, and uh, I just couldn't imagine her not being in the series. So um, subspecies one, two, and three definitely gets my vote for In Search of Darkness, 1990 through 1994. And there you have it. There's my 10. Very quickly, Body Snatchers, Kronos, Exorcist 3, Frankenhooker, In the Mouth of Madness, It, Jason Goes to Hell, Night of the Living Dead, The Stand, and subspecies one, two, or three.